Are you ready to transform your summer into an epic splash-tastic adventure? Say goodbye to wasteful, single-use water balloons and hello to the ultimate in reusable, eco-friendly fun with reusable water balloons. Check out the link in the video description to get yours on Amazon today. Kate Hudson admitted that she never wears deodorant, just like her repeated co-star Matthew McConaughey. We're on Natarelles, you know, she said with a satisfied grin during Wednesday's episode of Watch What Happens Live. The actress shared the hygiene tidbit after host Andy Cohen asked a fan-submitted question about whether she forced McConaughey use deodorant while filming their 2008 romantic comedy, Fool's Gold. No. He doesn't wear deodorant, she replied. And by the way, I don't either. Hudson, 45, also confirmed that he has a distinct scent, revealing that she could smell him from a mile away. The Dallas Buyers Club star previously addressed the topic during a 2008 interview with Playboy, saying that Hudson would drop hints that he needed something to cover up his body odor on set. She always brings a salt rock, which is some natural deodorant, and says, would you please put this on? McConaughey, 54, recalled. I just never wore it. No cologne, no deodorant. He added, the women in my life, including my mother, have all said, hey, your natural smell smells, one, like a man and, two, smells like you. By clicking above you agree to the terms of use and privacy policy. The actors, Tropic Thunder, co-star Yvette Nicole Brown supported that statement during a 2021 episode of Sirius XM's The Jess Cagle Show. He does not have an odor. He smells like granola and good living, she explained at the time. He has a sweet, sweet scent that is just him, and it's not musty or crazy. The Academy Award winner first revealed his aversion to deodorant during his 2005 Sexiest Man Alive profile, in which he told people that he hadn't used the common hygiene product in 20 years. Hudson's revelation about her and McConaughey's similar stance on deodorant came as she also mentioned that she would be open to a sequel of their 2003 film, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. All that matters would be the script and if Matthew and I were into the script, she said on Watch What Happens Live. I think we're both totally open. It has just never happened.